documentary so people wouldn't have to always stare and take pictures because we don't like when they take pictures so they just knew who we are and stuff. As they've grown, much of their life is still the same. They still live in the same small town in Minnesota with their 14-year-old brother Cody, 12-year-old sister Morgan, parents Mike and Patty, and the family dog, Sadie. To put it simply, Abby and Brittany are not morning people. They need to sleep. <laughs> oh, when they wake up in the morning, they're usually cranky. When they get up in the morning, they're very crabby. From the moment they start their day, Abby and Brittany are an incredible display of teamwork. From doing their hair to putting on makeup, they appear to be totally in sync. But that doesn't mean they always agree. It's fine. Don't touch it. Believe me, we are totally different people. We usually bargain with each other. Like, if you do this, I'll give you that. Or, or we take turns. We take turns a lot. When they first started to drive, it was kind of scary because they would hit the brakes and go too slow and then go too fast and then do slow. Hold on, slow it down, Dad. Don't worry. Why are you having your blinker on? The pressure is on because tomorrow, Abby and Brittany turn 16, and first thing in the morning, they head to the DMV for the driving portion of their licensing test. But the bad news is, two tests means two chances to fail. I passed. Yeah, I ran over the flag, man. Okay, these are for you too. Thank you. After many gifts and congratulations from their friends, the question now is, what is planned for tonight? Today is Abin Britt's 16th birthday. Cody, you want to light the candles? We are going to have their favorite angel food cake baked by their grandmother. If we get the candles lit. Go. You have to make a wish. <gasps> Cody, stop! <laughs> Because they have two hearts, lungs, circulatory systems that are conjoined, I'm looking to make sure they're not developing premature high blood pressure, respiratory problems. Oh, there you go. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Oh, good. Haven't seen you in a while. No. Just saw you five minutes ago, actually. Well, maybe. <laughs> I watched you drive in. Well, how was your drive? Good. Was it? The process of their ability to come together is fascinating for me as a, as a primary care doctor because above the waist, they seem to function independently, and yet they can clap, even though one controls one arm and the other controls the other. I ask them periodically um, what they feel and sense. One girl cannot sense touching on the other girl's arm and vice versa. The girls themselves are continually discovering more about how their bodies work together. And even the other day, they were... They were on their bellies going, feel that, feel that, feel that, and Brittany would say when she'd start to feel it. Many other questions on the horizon, like how will they date? You know, I hear them and their girlfriends talk about guys, but they probably aren't going to be sharing that with me right now, who they may have a crush on or what they're feeling, but I'm sure they do. I just, the way I see them interact. The whole world doesn't need to know what we're, who we're dating or what we're going to do and everything. As for motherhood, only time will tell. Yeah, we're going to be moms. We haven't thought about how it's being moms is going to work yet. We're just 16. We don't need to think about that right now. Um, we might want to go into photography, child development, or st stuff with kids. Um, interior designing, architecture, or fashion design. You know, are they going to be uh, hired as one or as two? Are they going to be able to share salaries, or do they might, you know, all of those things I, I think yet are, are to be determined. Abby and Brittany have chosen not to appear on all the talk shows or do interviews for the many magazines who make requests, although they could do hundreds. I've had TV people come up to me and say that I owe the world more of an explanation regarding Abby and Brittany. I don't owe the world nothing. And Abby and Brittany don't owe the world anything either. The best thing about being conjoined twins is there's always someone there to talk to. And you're never alone.